Okay, on this example, we're given the doubling period of a uh, bacteria population is 15 minutes. And we're also told that at time t equals 100 minutes, bacteria population is 80,000. All right, so to get going on this, because we're told about the doubling period, the doubling time for this, what I want to do is I want to start out with trying to find our rate just based on the doubling time or the doubling period. So I'm going to stay consistent throughout this example that our time is going to be in minutes because it was initially given to us in minutes. Now we don't actually know our rate at the beginning. So my initial setup is going to have to do with, we don't know our initial starting amount either. That's going to be kind of the follow-up question in just a second. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and say we're going to start with some number P and you could fill in like a hundred or one or two, whatever. You just start with something here. The accumulated amount is going to be double whatever we start with. So in this case, let's go ahead and say it's 2P. And I'm utilizing this formula A of T equals P times E raised to the R times T power um, because that represents some naturally occurring things, this continuously compounded interest formula. P is our starting amount. A is kind of what you end up with, the accumulated amount. We don't know what our rate is from the beginning, so let's go ahead and do a little bit of work in to plug in what we do know and try to solve that down. So we can say in this case we have 2p equals p times e raised to the r times 15. Right, um, 2p got p plugged in for a, p got plugged in for p, and 15 got plugged in for r time. Now the solvent down here, what we want to do is isolate the exponential part, so the e raised to the power. So we need to get rid of that p out in front. So let's divide by it. On the left hand side, we get some nice canceling out. We also get some nice canceling out on the right hand side. So we end up with two equals e raised to the r times 15 or 15 r up in the exponent. Now, if you had chosen to say, we're gonna start with 100 bacteria and end up with 200 bacteria, we're gonna to get to this exact same line right where we are right now. Uh, just make sure that that relationship's correct for figuring out with doubling time what that's telling you. All right, next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and apply a natural log to both sides. Now I'm choosing natural log because we have this nice E raised to the power. And I know when we compose together natural logs and E's, things work out very, very nicely that they're inverse functions of one another. And we're going to get this nice canceling out because we've composed an exponential function with log with uh, base E with a log base E, a natural log. So we're going to be left with our exponent, R times 15. To solve for r and get it all by itself, we simply need to divide both sides by 15. So on the right hand side, this will isolate the r, and we can use that rate for each subsequent uh, question that comes up here. So our natural log of 2 divided by 15 is going to go as our rate for the follow-up. All right, so what we'll know is what was the initial population at time equals 0. So the initial population, that's what you start with. That's asking, what is P? So let's use those other pieces of information that they gave us from the beginning. They said at time T equals 100 minutes, population was 80,000. So filling those pieces of information in, well, 100 minutes is a value for our time. And again, staying consistent that we're in minutes throughout. And then our accumulated amount, how much this has grown up to, would be 80,000 goes in for A. Same formula we're plugging into. So we say 80,000 on the left-hand side equals, well, P we don't know. Then we're going to go E raised to the natural log of 2 divided by 15 times our time 100. And yeah, I'm not getting a decimal approximation for that rate because we really want to get a nice exact answer whenever possible. The easiest way to do that is just keep it as natural log of 2 divided by 15 up there. All right, now to get P on one side by itself, well, P is connected with the entire right-hand side of this equation with a multiplication. So the next thing I'm going to do is to isolate P, we're going to divide by that entire E raised to the power. So we could do a little bit of reducing down. We don't really need to, but we could do natural log of 2 over 15 times 100, just the whole thing, or 100 divided by 15 is the same thing as 20 thirds. Natural log of 2 going on here, still in the exponent. All of this 
cancels out, right? We're multiplying and dividing by the same thing. So that's gonna isolate P, the starting amount, on one side by itself. At this point, we'll go ahead and get our calculators out. And it gets to be approximately, but be careful when we do this, 787.4506562. And it keeps going from there. In this question, they've asked us to go ahead and round to the nearest whole number. So the nearest whole number, we're gonna round to approximately 787 is gonna be our solution for this part but don't sleep on all those decimals that we just rounded off. All right, those decimals make a big, big difference when we answer this follow-up question. So the follow-up question here, we wanna know what's the size gonna be of this bacteria population after five hours. So that after five hours, new value going in here for our time, we're gonna use the same rate, the natural log of two divided by 15 that we found kind of in the first part. Our initial population, we're going to keep all those decimals. So 787.4506562. Don't drop those decimals or we're not going to get rounded to the right thing when we get to that nearest whole number in the end. Now our five hours, we have to convert that over. Remember we were in minutes before. So because we were consistently in minutes the whole way through, we want our five hours to be converted over to minutes as well. So we're going to do five hours multiplied by 60 minutes per one hour. And we're going to use 300 minutes to be equivalent to that five hours. All right, we still don't know our accumulated amount A here. So let's fill in the same formula. A is going to equal, and again, keep all these decimal places, 787.4506562. E raised to the natural log, our rate of two divided by 15, multiplied by 300, our time. Now, hopefully we can get this all into our calculator all at once, but take your time. Make sure that we're actually punching it all in. We got to the exact right answer here. So using exactly uh, um, that all that decimal the whole way through, I think what we're going to end up with here is 825,007, oops, 825,701,859.3. But being we're rounding to the nearest whole number of bacteria, we're going to drop that 0.3 at the end because it's below 0.5. Now, if you did not do your rounding, all right, or if you did rounding and you didn't keep that decimal, it ends up significantly different. 825,229,312, but that's not keeping all those decimals. So you'll notice we are off by hundreds of thousands of bacteria in the end. So that's why we have to be really, really careful Get rid of that, keep the decimals, get a very accurate answer when we get done here. Um, but do, after you keep the decimals, round to the nearest whole number. All right, hope this helps out as you're working through these problems, understanding word problems with exponential growth. Good luck.